Well, certainly we've been really blessed here in Beckham and Washtenaw County with the amount of moisture we've had here in just in the month of May alone, depending on where you live in the, the two counties, you could have anywhere between 10 to 14 inches. And that was already on top of a soil profile that was actually full. All that moisture that came in May really didn't have anywhere to go except just settle in some of these fields and uh, go down through the rivers and the rivers got out of the banks and flooded a lot of it and did a lot of damage to some of the crops, especially along the, the uh, areas here is where we have lots of moisture and along our river banks there. And as we're looking at the alfalfa field here, uh, certainly one of those you can see, there's still lots of standing water out there. And this crop is almost getting to the point where it's ready to uh, go again as far as being cut. But certainly uh, with the forecast and more rain this week, uh, I really don't know how it will be or when we'll be able to get back in these fields. And, you know, if you look on the mezzanine, our soil moisture across the state is, is as wet as it can be. And that means that a lot of our soils aren't going to drain very well. And so you're going to have runoff, a lot of runoff. When you do have ponding, it's going to be there for a while. And that's because when our soils are saturated, the only way that water can move is through saturated flow. When we're dry, the dry soil will actually pull water down into it. But then wet soil, um, it has to be pushed down through uh, the force of gravity. And in many instances in Oklahoma with our clay so, uh, uh, subsoil, that process is really slow. You know, a sandy soil may be able to drain a couple inches per hour, or a clay loam may be a half to two tenths of an inch an hour. And then if you have a lot of heavy clay that sh swells when it's wet, it may be, you know, less than a tenth of an inch per hour. And so when you have these ponds, ponded areas like what we have here, um, it's just going to take a long time, you know, if you have a pond that, a ponded area that's six inches deep and you're only moving a tenth of an inch per hour, then it's going to be 60 hours for that water to move through that profile. Washtenaw and Beckham County, especially as they meet up, this is really big alfalfa country and it's a really big economic crop. Certainly with the recent rains we've had, depending on how it was put up, when it was cut down, and certainly the amount of water you've had on it, the relative feed value has really gone down and certainly Anybody that knows anything about alfalfa, that's how mainly most of it is sold as far as on the relative feed value index that we, that we produce through the soil lab there at, uh, at OSU. Uh, economically from uh, say 200 to 225, uh, you know, a ton, uh, it could be down in the 150, 165. You know, most of this flooding, it's gonna have very little impact on the inherent soil characteristics. I mean, you're going to have crop damage due to water logging and things like that. Probably the biggest challenges we're going to face are, are areas that have washed out where we have um, hopefully not big gullies, but we're going to have washout areas, terraces that have been blown out. A lot of producers, I talked to one yesterday there that he estimates this uh, first crop is coming off there. He's probably lost between uh, 80 and $90,000 just because the reduced amount of crop yield and also value of the crop as far as nutritional value for the animals. Well, this producer was really lucky because uh, he got his hay uh, cut down there about uh, three weeks ago. The amount of water, there's lots of water out in that field that you can't see and certainly that's going to be a detriment of when we can get that done. Right across the road there, uh, that guy got his cut down just before the rains, and uh, he had to go ahead and bail that up, and uh, it almost looked like rows of mud that he had cut down because of all the dirt and trash that's in there, and certainly the value of the alfalfa across the road here that's already bailed up uh, is not going to be worth very much. As a matter of fact, it's still sitting in the field. It kind of depends on what Mother Nature gives us, but certainly we're hopeful that uh, you know we're going to get some sunshine. Uh, maybe we'll get out of this weather uh, wet pattern, and we'll get lots of growing days, good uh, sun, sunny days where this crop can grow and they can get it out.